Hey, what's up guys? I've been using Tesla's full self-driving version 10.3 for the past two weeks, and here's everything that I've learned in three different categories. Number one, room for improvements. Number two, fails. Number three, wins. And all the footages you guys see here are the car driving itself. However, you still need to pay attention, be ready to take over at any time. And the little camera above the rear view mirror is now on and watching your face. So this thing does bug you more than autopilot. Starting with the room for improvements over here, the car is trying to make a right. However, I feel like it's more in the left lane where if someone was trying to make a left behind me, they would have to wait for me to make a right turn. Whereas if I was driving, I would go much more into the right lane to not block the person if they were trying to make a left. So over here, the car kind of starts from the middle and then goes right a bit and then it actually goes. So, I mean, it did it fine, but definitely room for improvement. Over here, there is no stop sign, yet the car comes to a full stop for some odd reason, and then it continues to go. I do understand this is not the easiest thing to do because this is essentially a 90 degree turn, but it does come to a complete stop. And over here, you could see that I hit the little camera because when it messes up, you send footage to the Tesla team, or you can actually just email them. Now, transitioning to the fails, this was a fail slash room for improvement. So... Over here, it's supposed to get into the freeway. However, I turned on full self-driving just now. There are no cars around me, nothing like that. And it starts getting into the right lane. But as it goes to the right, it comes back left for no odd reason. So I had to take over to get into the freeway. So not exactly sure what happened there, but it would be nice had it just gone right. Now here's the biggest mistake that I noticed. According to the navigation, it's supposed to make a U-turn here. And it's funny because full self-driving brings me here to this lane however it's signaling right for some reason and then it tries to go straight or right so I take over and I make the u-turn I tried this again and it essentially almost did the same thing except the other time it was signaling left then signaling right then signaling left then signaling right so it's just not ready for u-turns at least not from here now getting to the winds I tested these on the windy roads and it did fairly well at some parts it does go a bit into the other lane and at other parts it does stop a bit abruptly so it's not as smooth as a human would drive this thing but the fact that it can make this without any issues whatsoever in terms of you know it doesn't know what to do or it says hey take over or anything like that it actually did a fairly good job now i'll speed up the video by 10x just so you guys could see that it honestly does just fine and i also ran the night version of it as well and it does fine there as well so again it does stop abruptly in some places but for the most part it could do it now here are two things i didn't know about full self-driving number one is the maximum speed limit is now 80 miles an hour whether you're on the freeway or on the city streets granted you should always be going the speed limits and not more than that and another thing that i didn't know is you can't use full self-driving on the freeway so as soon as you enter the freeway it no longer uses full self-driving. It goes back to autopilot or navigate on autopilot. And as soon as you get off the freeway, full self-driving turns back on again. So essentially, it's almost like having full self-driving on the freeway, but not quite because you could see it turn on right away. Anyways, I want to thank the Tesla team for making this possible because it's very, very, very difficult to do this. And I understand that. So... I know they'll improve it, I know it'll get better, but the fact is for a beta version, this thing is pretty amazing. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment sections below or suggestions, and smash that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.